Vitamin A deficiency is a lack of vitamin A in humans. It is common in poorer countries but rarely seen in more developed countries. Nyctalopia is one of the first signs of VAD. Xerophthalmia, keratomalacia, and complete blindness can also occur since vitamin A has a major role in phototransduction. Approximately 250,000 to 500,000 malnourished children in the developing world go blind each year from a deficiency of vitamin A, approximately half of whom die within a year of becoming blind. The United Nations Special Session on Children in 2002 set a goal of the elimination of VAD by 2010. The prevalence of night blindness due to VAD is also high among pregnant women in many developing countries. VAD also contributes to maternal mortality and other poor outcomes in pregnancy and lactation. VAD also diminishes the ability to fight infections. In countries where children are not immunized, infectious diseases like measles have higher fatality rates. As elucidated by Alfred Sommer, even mild, subclinical deficiency can also be a problem, as it may increase children's risk of developing respiratory and diarrheal infections decrease growth rate, slow bone development, and decrease likelihood of survival from serious illness. VAD is estimated to affect approximately one-third of children under the age of five around the world. It is estimated to claim the lives of 670,000 children under five annually. Approximately 250,000 a year of 500,000 children in developing countries become blind each year owing to VAD with the highest prevalence in Southeast Asia and Africa. According to the World Health Organization, VAD is under control in the United States, but, in developing countries, VAD is a significant concern. Signs and Symptoms The most common cause of blindness in developing countries is VAD. The World Health Organization estimates 13.8 million children to have some degree of visual loss related to VAD. Night blindness and its worsened condition, xerophthalmia, are markers of VAD, as it can also lead to impaired immune function, cancer, and birth defects. Collections of keratin in the conjunctiva, known as bitot spots, are also seen. Imshiz's sign is the earliest ocular sign of VAD. Conjunctival epithelial defects occur around lateral aspect of the limbus and subclinical stage of VAD. These conjunctival epithelial defects are not even visible on a biomicroscope, but they take up black stain and become readily visible after installation of Kjal. This is called Imschlis's sign. Night blindness is the difficulty for the eyes to adjust to dim light. Affected individuals are unable to distinguish images in low levels of illumination. People with night blindness have poor vision in the darkness, but see normally when adequate light is present. VAD affects vision by inhibiting the production of rhodopsin, the eye pigment responsible for sensing low light situations. Rhodopsin is found in the retina and is composed of retinol and opsin. Because the body cannot create retinol in sufficient amounts, a diet low in vitamin A will lead to a decreased amount of rhodopsin in the eye, as there is inadequate retinol to bind with opsin. Night blindness results. Night blindness caused by VAD has been associated with the loss of goblet cells in the conjunctiva, a membrane covering the outer surface of the eye. Goblet cells are responsible for secretion of mucus, and their absence results in xerophthalmia, a condition where the eyes fail to produce tears. Dead epithelial and microbial cells accumulate on the conjunctiva and form debris that can lead to infection and possibly blindness. Decreasing night blindness requires the improvement of vitamin A status in at-risk populations. Supplements and fortification of food have been shown to be effective interventions. Supplement treatment for night blindness includes high doses of vitamin A in the form of retinal palmitate to be taken by mouth, which is administered two to four times a year. Intramuscular injections are poorly absorbed and are ineffective in delivering sufficient bioavailable vitamin A. Fortification of food with vitamin A is costly, but can be done in wheat, sugar, and milk. Households may circumvent expensive fortified food by altering dietary habits. Consumption of yellow orange fruits and vegetables rich in carotenoids, specifically beta carotene provides pro-vitamin A precursors that will prevent VAD-related night blindness. Causes, 
the major cause is roughage which include few animal sources of preformed vitamin A. In addition to dietary problems, there are other causes of VAD. Iron deficiency can affect vitamin A uptake. Excess alcohol consumption can deplete vitamin A, and a stressed liver may be more susceptible to vitamin A toxicity. People who consume large amounts of alcohol should seek medical advice before taking vitamin A supplements. In general, people should also seek medical advice before taking vitamin A supplements if they have any condition associated with fat male absorption such as pancreatitis, cystic fibrosis, tropical sprue and biliary obstruction. Infection rates, along with poor diet there is a large amount of infection and disease present in many developing communities. Infection is very draining on vitamin A reserves and this vitamin A deficit leaves the individual more susceptible to infection. Increased documentation of xerothalmia has been seen after an outbreak of measles and the varying stages of xerothalmia become a good reference point for the extent of deficiency. In a longitudinal study of preschool Indonesian children it was found that susceptibility to disease increased nine times when severe VAD was present. The reason for the increased infection rate in vitamin A deficient populations is due to the T killer cells which require retinoids to proliferate correctly. Retinoic acid binds the promoter region of specific genes and so activates the transcription process and therefore cell replication. A vitamin A deficient diet will have a very limited surplus of retinol and so cell proliferation and replication will be suppressed, contributing to a reduced number of T cells and lymphocytes. Suppression of these will result in a lack of immune reaction if pathogens become present in the body and consequently a greater susceptibility to incubation of disease. VAD and infections aggravate each other and therefore with infection the vitamin A levels are depleted which in turn reduces intestinal absorption of vitamin A. Very often seen with VAD is protein energy malnutrition. With PEM the synthesis of retinal binding protein is decreased. Consequently the uptake of retinol is reduced. This leads to an inability to utilize any vitamin A present as the RBP is absent and so the retinol cannot be transported to the liver maximizing the VAD. Treatment Treatment of VAD can be undertaken with both oral and injectable forms, generally as vitamin A palmitate. As an oral form, the supplementation of vitamin A is effective for lowering the risk of morbidity, especially from severe diarrhea and reducing mortality from measles and all-cause mortality. Studies have shown that vitamin A supplementation of children under 5 who are at risk of VAD can reduce allo cause mortality by 23%. Some countries where VAD is a public health problem address its elimination by including vitamin A supplements available in capsule form with national immunization days for polio eradication or measles. Vitamin A capsules cost about 2 cents. The capsules are easy to handle. They don't need a Euro unregistered trademark tea need to be stored in a refrigerator or vaccine carrier. When the correct dosage is given, vitamin A is safe and has no negative effect on SRO conversion rates for oral polio vaccine or measles vaccine. However, because the benefit of vitamin A supplements is transient, children need them regularly every four to six months. Since NIDs provide only one dose per year, NIDs linked vitamin A distribution must be complemented by other dose programs to maintain vitamin A in children maternal high supplementation benefits both mother and breastfed infant, high dose vitamin A supplementation of the lactating mother in the first month postpartum can provide the breastfed infant with an appropriate amount of vitamin A through breast milk. However, high dose supplementation of pregnant women should be avoided because it can cause miscarriage and birth defects. Food fortification is also useful for improving VAD. A variety of oily and dry forms of the retinol esters, retinol acetates and retinol palmitate are available for food fortification of vitamin A margarine and oil are the ideal food vehicles for vitamin A fortification. He protect vitamin A from oxidation during storage and prompt absorption of vitamin A beta carotene and retinol acetate or retinol palmitate are used as a form of vitamin A for vitamin A fortification of fat-based foods. Fortification of sugar with retinol palmitate as a form of vitamin A has been used extensively throughout Central America. Cereal flours, milk powder, 
and liquid milk are also used as food vehicles for vitamin A fortification. Genetic engineering is another method of food fortification, and this has been achieved with golden rice, but opposition to genetically modified foods has prevented its use as of July 2012. Dietary diversification can also control VAD. Non-animal sources of vitamin A which contain preformed vitamin A account for greater than 80% of intake for most individuals in the developing world. The increase in consumption of vitamin A-rich foods of animal origin in addition to fruits and vegetables has beneficial effects on VAD. Researchers at the Agricultural Research Service have been able to identify genetic sequences in corn that are associated with higher levels of beta-carotene, the precursor to vitamin A. They found that breeders can cross certain variations of corn to produce a crop with an 18-fold increase in beta-carotene. Such advancements in nutritional plant breeding could one day aid in the illnesses related to VAD in developing countries. Global initiatives, global efforts to support national governments in addressing VAD are led by the Global Alliance for Vitamina, which is an informal partnership between A2Z, the Canadian International Development Agency, Helen Keller International, Micronutrient Initiative, UNICEF, USAID, and the World Bank. Joint GAVA activity is coordinated by the Micronutrient Initiative. Vitamin Angels has committed itself to eradicating childhood blindness due to VAD on the planet by the year 2020. Operation 20-20 was launched in 2007 and will cover 18 countries. The program gives children two high-dose vitamin A and antiparasitic supplements, which provides children with enough of the nutrient during their most vulnerable years in order to prevent them from going blind and suffering from other life-threatening diseases caused by VAD. About 75% of the vitamin A required for supplementation activity by developing countries is supplied by the Micronutrient Initiative with support from the Canadian International Development Agency. An estimated 1.25 million deaths due to VAD have been averted in 40 countries since 1998. In 2008 it was estimated that an annual investment of 60 million US dollars in vitamin A and zinc supplementation combined would yield benefits of more than 1 billion US dollars per year, with every dollar spent generating benefits of more than 17 US dollars. These combined interventions were ranked by the Copenhagen Consensus 2008 as the World a Euro Unregistered Trademark S Best Development Investment. Epidemiology. See also, Golden Rice, Retinol, Vitamin, References, WHO Vitamin A Deficiency Micronutrient Deficiencies. Retrieved March 3, 2008. A, Latham, Michael E. Human Nutrition in the Developing World. Food and Agriculture Organization of the United. ISBN A 92 5 103818. Exa, Summer, Alfred. Vitamin A Deficiency and Its Consequences A Field Guide to Detection and Control. Geneva, World Health Organization. ISBN A 92 4 154478 3. A, a World Fit for Children. Retrieved March 3, 2008. A, World Health Organization, Global Prevalence of Vitamin A Deficiency in Populations at Risk 1995 A Euro 2005, WHO Global Database on Vitamin A Deficiency. Blacker EAL, Maternal and Child Undernutrition, Global and Regional Exposures and Health Consequences, The Lancet, 2008, 371, 9608, pages 253. J. S. Ray, S. Sripathy, C. E. Gilbert, A. Foster. Childhood Blindness Due to VAD in India, Regional Variations. Archives of Disease in Childhood. 72, 330 Euro 333, 1995. HTTP, www.paramountbooks.com.pk slash Login index. Asp question mark title equal concise dash ophthalmology dash pb minus 2014 and ISBN equals 9789696377 and opt equals 3 and subcat equals 06. Underwood, Barbara A. Vitamin A Deficiency Disorders International Efforts to Control a Preventable Euro O Epoxy Euro J Nut 134. 
231 Zara Euro 236S, 2004. Summerer, Muilel, Tawot Jo Wan, Jun Aide in Glover J. Oral vs. Intramuscular Vitamin A in the Treatment of Xerothalmia. Lancet 1, 557 A Euro 559. Aroyev G. Medjin L.A. and Aguilar Jr. The effect of vitamin A fortification of sugar on the serum vitamin A levels of preschool Guatemalan children, a longitudinal evaluation. J. Nut 34, 41 a Euro 49. Beaton G.H.A.L. Effectiveness of vitamin A supplementation in the control of young child morbidity and mortality in developing countries. United Nations Administrative Committee on Coordination. Subcommittee on Nutrition State of the Art Series, Nutrition Policy Discussion Paper No. 13. Geneva, 1993. Distribution of Vitamin A During National Immunization Days. Retrieved March 3, 2008. A WHO Vitamin A Supplementation. Retrieved March 3, 2008. A Stultzfusser J., Hakimi M., Miller K. W. AL high dose vitamin A supplementation of breastfeeding Indonesian mothers, effects on the vitamin A status of mother and infant. J Nut 123, 666 a Euro 75. PMIDA 8463867A, edited by Lindsay Allen, Guidelines on Food Fortification with Micronutrients. Geneva, World Health Organization. ISBN A 92-4-159401-2A, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Food Fortification, Tech and Quality Control. Vernon Asuk. ISBN A 92-5-103884-8A, Ye, X. al Balai, S. Clap Paragraph T, A. Zhang, J. Lucker, P. Bear, P. Potoclus, I. Engineering the Provitamin A Biosynthetic Pathway into Rice Endosperm. Science 287, 303 Euro 5 DOI, 10.1126 slash science. 287.5451.303. PMIDA 10,634,784, one existing crop. Genetically engineered golden rice that produces vitamin A, already holds enormous promise for reducing blindness and dwarfism that result from a vitamin A deficient diet. A Euro Bill Frist, physician and politician, in a Washington Times commentary a Euro November 21, 2006, 1, childinfo.org, Vitamin A Deficiency. Archived from the original on February 18, 2008. Retrieved March 14, 2008. A, a new approach that saves eyesight and lives in the developing world. USDA Agricultural Research Service. May 3, 2010. A, HTTP, www Vitamin Angels Org Programs Op 2020 HTM, Micronutrient Initiative, Annual Report 2009 2010, pages 4. Micronutrient Deficiencies Vitamin A. World Health Organization HTTP, www.who interpicks an index HTML. Retrieved April 9, 2008. AB Copenhagen Consensus 2008, Results, Press Release, May 30, 2008. Mortality and Burden of Disease Estimates for WHO Member States in 2002. World Health Organization 2002 A, Further Reading, UNICEF. Vitamin A Supplementation, A Decade of Progress, UNICEF, New York, 2007. Flower Fortification Initiative, Gain, Micronutrient Initiative, USAID, The World Bank, UNICEF, Investing in the Future, A United Call to Action on Vitamin and Mineral Deficiencies, 2009. External Links, Micronutrient Initiative, UNICEF, Helen Keller International, A2Z, World Health Organization Database on Vitamin A Deficiency